Hey YouTube, it is Monday, January the 9th. I think it's about 1, like 1.05. Um, some people were in and out of here earlier this morning, so I figured let me just wait before I'm embarrassed. Um, so yeah, uh, it is freezing this morning, so I came in here with the, uh, my macage coat, you know, the big one, and some Ugg boots because it snowed over the weekend. We got more than we were supposed to get. Wish I was a meteorologist because only then could I flunk at my job and still keep my job. Um, so it was still a little icy out. So Uggs, big coat, nothing fabulous there. Um, oh, I wonder if someone's coming. I heard the door close. Okay. <laughs> um, some of you are jinxing me. Because some people are like, how do you know one that no one ever seems to come into where you are? I watch someone walk in and you know, be like, so grandma, I will talk to you next week. Take care. <laughs> That'll be my alibi. FaceTiming granny. <laughs> God rest her soul. Anywho, um, yeah, so uh, nothing really going on this weekend or went on uh, this weekend other than the snow and I was stuck home I took the little one to her ballet class and then that was all I could do Saturday because it was really treacherous Sunday I took them out to play a little bit the littlest one got his hands cold I gotta find proper gloves for them because uh, he got his hands cold uh, I guess it was too cold for him in his hands and he was just like this after a while crying and that was it um, so well, that was it for the weekend um, and just another week yay so, uh, let's get into uh, much to my, um, not surprise, but, um, uh, much to my delight, some of you guys have picked up this adorable bag. So, I'm so happy I have bag twins out there that I know, and I was able to influence a purchase. <laughs> it is a fabulous uh, bag, and sorry for the quality of my review video. The lighting was crap. I don't think I can use that angle anymore. I have to use a better angle, but, um... You guys get the gist of it. And you see it here on my uh, my um, outfit of the day post. <laughs> I'm going to be rocking her for a while. Sorry. With just about anything because it doesn't really match what I have. Well, it doesn't intentionally match, but it goes. Um, so, wearing her today. Um, wearing this a very old Zara um, sweater. The zip in the back. I love it though. Uh, even though it's pilling some. Um, and a J. Crew uh, wool mini skirt and my coach um, patent leather flats, which have seen better days, but they're so comfy and I love them and I can't give them up. Um, here they are. So, they're just a go to. Jewelry. I am doing uh, the uh, CC brooch, of course, on the tweed because one must. Uh, uh, went simple on the rings today. I've actually been wearing them. I haven't taken these off for a while. The Bing Bang Happy Face ring and this just plain simple ring from Etsy. Uh, L&M Signet ring and I have not changed out my earrings. Sorry. I was going to, but then the earrings that I wanted to wear was a bit much with this. So I kept these in. Earrings from Catbird NYC. So keep them same. Hankering for my finish to finish off this ear um so maybe for my birthday or maybe valentine's day actually i should hmm, that's a good idea maybe for valentine's day i should get my two piercings here so i can finish off this ear um i thought this ear was finished but up here is looking a little maybe maybe a ring here i don't know i should just leave my ears alone having all these holes in it drink some water and it's gonna come out um anyway so yeah that's the jewelry. Um, on the eyes, I have some ColourPop shadows, um, ColourPop uh, highlight, and some Coastal Sense, a Coastal Sense blush. Actually, I got three Coastal Sense blushes and a mixture of them. And my favorite um, lip, lip combo, which is Lolita from Kat Von D, Lime Crimes Cashmere, and Beat Lip Liner from MAC, simply because I forgot to change out my lip stuff out of this bag. Um, and that's about it going on today. Um, it's cold out, so I'm not going anywhere. I brought my lunch, some chicken and salad. <laughs> Boring. 
Um, and that's about it. So I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday, January the 10th. Um, not much going on. Same old, same old. Still cold and gross out and just slushy. And then, you know, in New York, the snow gets all gross and bright and black and so. So, can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be 50 degrees, so that should melt all that stuff away. Um, yeah, nothing else really going on. I've had a couple of questions, um, on this backpack. I know a couple of you have bought it, okay, and some of you are still contemplating it, um, and have asked me some questions. Um, as of today, this morning, um, the 10th, it is still available, um, on the coach website for 187 I know tomorrow the 11th if you are part of coachfactory.com they should still have it they should have it as well for 187 at least I'm gonna check tomorrow because if it's cheaper we're gonna do our Amy thing to get it cheaper um, so check there um, you guys won't see this till Friday so it should hopefully won't be sold out by Friday but um, Particularly uh, excellence in the spirit. I wear the backpack like this. Actually, right now it's open. Yeah, let me close it. I wear it like this all the time, commuting, walking around the street. Sometimes I'll, you know, if I need to go in, I'll just sling it over my shoulder. Um, I'm in towards the front like that. So basically, I wear it like this all the time on one shoulder. And I don't. I frankly don't find it any different from wearing a regular bag over my shoulder like this. I'll either hold it like this or just it's fine like that. I'll just walk around with this. And I guess because it's a small, smaller backpack, it's not, it doesn't slip off, it's not annoying. Um, and my bag is full at the moment. So, yes, this is how I wear it. I have an idea because when I, you know, the LV backpack and the MCM backpack. The straps are interchangeable, so you can kind of make it into a crossbody bag. I do have an idea. It may not work, but I'm going to try it. <laughs> and my idea is not even going to work because it doesn't look like this is going to come out. Oh, this leather piece will not come through this bracket. What I was going to do was take this out and switch the straps, switch them on to each... I was gonna crisscross it and see if it would work to wear it as a crossbody bag. If I wear, if I put it to its lowest setting and try to wear it as a crossbody bag, it's kind of weird. It cups the boob, number one. And this is how it. Well, it's not actually. It's actually that way. This is how it looks, crossbody. But again, I'm on the smaller side and it looks, looks yeah, let's see if I it's kind of weird I kind of I don't like it to transect the boob I mean I don't want it to cup the boob weirdly so <laughs> I don't really think it's gonna work as a cross this particular bag is gonna work as a crossbody option so I think with this particular bag um, your best bet is to wear it as either a regular, a real backpack. Oh, I have a hair somewhere. Um, oh, that is annoying. God, it feels like a spider. As a real backpack, um, or just a one shoulder bag. So I don't know if that's a deal breaker for some of you. Um, it isn't for me simply because I just love the leather. Um, I love the color and also, um, it doesn't bother me just on the one shoulder. So, sorry, my idea didn't work out. But, um, yeah. So, now I gotta find the setting I was at before. Make it more comfy. So yeah, guys, that's, um, that's that. It, it, if you guys have, have the bag or any other little backpack with non-interchangeable um, straps and you found an interesting way in wearing it other than a traditional backpack or just across the shoulder, let me know. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the outfit then. So, uh, let's see. Okay, so 
Just wearing this sweater, which I think you guys have seen before, from H&M. And this skirt that I got from H&M as well. Um, and my Ferragamo flats. I'll show you close enough, but yeah, I should move. So my, so I like these Ferragamo um, because they're uh, kind of more sporty, have a more sporty soul. For jewelry, I'm wearing my ladder um, necklace, uh, ladder earrings from Veramete. I know a couple of you have bought the necklace from Veramete, the ladder necklace. It's fabulous. You should pick up the earrings too. I love them. They're so different. And then this earring um, from Capper. Um, jewelry, L&M cigar ring, skull ring from Bing Bang. This little chain ring from Catbird, Bing Bang, uh, Happy Face ring, this like tribal ring from a peace treaty, and my just my simple band from Etsy, gold band from Etsy. And that's it for jewelry. Uh, so that's about it, guys, uh, for today. I just put on my, uh, I keep forgetting to change out my lip colors, <laughs> um, my regular favorite mixture of Anastasia and Lime Crime um, on the eyes, uh, Colourpop again, and uh, the blush is, uh, what is the blush? Coastal Sense. I have this Coastal Sense long blush palette, so I took a blush from there, and um, highlight is also Colourpop. And I think I want a glossy lip today, so I'm going to add this NYX Butter Gloss, which is fabulous. These things are lovely. They are not sticky at all. And this one is in Madeleine, which is a very pretty name, by the way. Uh, yeah, and that'll give this just a nice little sheen instead of being matte. So, yes, guys, that's it for today. Um, it's a full week this week. Feels weird. Um, I'm hankering now for that Gucci, the double G belt. I think I might go today and check it out. We'll see. I'm not supposed to be shopping, but it might be sold out anyway. Yeah, because I want the one with the, ni the nylon part, uh, the green and red, and then with the gold buckle. Um, so that's the one I want, and it's sold out, although they do say that there is one in Gucci store on Fifth Avenue, but the Gucci store on Fifth Avenue is near the Trump Towers, and I just, I can't be bothered going around there. Just, I can't. So, I might check um, either Macy's, who has a Gucci um, store in it on 34th Street, or I may check Saks, which is further up on Fifth Avenue, so I don't have to deal with the Trump nonsense. So, yay. I will be talking to you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Good morning, YouTube. It is Wednesday, January 11th. Um, I finally got to wear my baby. I'll be, I'm a little taken aback by the fur. Uh, what are you going to do? It's too late to return it. <laughs> so, going forward, I'm going to have to curb my fur purchases. Um, unfortunately. But, yeah. Animals need their fur, too. Anywho. Um, yeah, so I'm here. It is Wednesday, hump day. Um, so, huh, getting a text message. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, and yeah, and that's all I've got to say. Let's go into the outfit. Popped into H&M uh, to see if I could find that tiger um, turtleneck by Polar Max. It has just turned me back onto it. And I was going to buy it when I saw it when it first came out, I think early in December. It was like 19 bucks. It was like a turtleneck with a big tiger. It was really cool, but why do they make it out of acrylic? It itches the life out of you, and it just beady balls up. So I didn't get it, now I want it, and some idiot is selling it on eBay for $59. No, sweetheart, no. So if any one of you pops into your local H&M and you happen to see it there in a size small or extra small, let me know, please. I will send you the money to get it for me. Anyway, I think it's a lost cause. But it was a cool sweater, and my interest has just been piqued. But I bought another cool sweater for $25 um, that has mohair wool in it and not acrylic. Um, anyway, 
I'm wearing my Sam coat first time. I love it. I love it. It's very warm. I'm going to pop the collar up. I don't need to wear a scarf with it and do this kind of thing when the, so the cold doesn't get in there. So I love it. Uh, still with the coach backpack and we'll probably be with her for a while. Now let me just show you guys really quickly how I stuff this bag. In. You see my lunch, <laughs> my lunch bowl in there? And I still have a full-size wallet. I still have a key holder. And it, it packs a punch, I'm telling you. Don't sleep on the mini backpacks. Um, for the outfit, I'm just wearing all black. I thought the coat merited it. <laughs> Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll put on some color for you. Long sweater from French Connection with this size and just my Zara black dress uh, body con or whatever they call them dress and my Zara um, flats. Show you a couple of the shoes. And I just had to um, take the beady balls off this sweater. You know, give me a fabric that doesn't beady ball up. You know those stupid little balls that you get? It's, it's, and this is new. I wore this maybe two times. Why is it beady balling up? And I hate black too because it just uh, catches everything. Anyway, earrings are these little bramble earrings kept in the cat bird. No necklace, no bracelet, and just a ring from Love Minimal, and an Etsy ring, and my L&M uh, name, uh, signature, signet ring. Um, eyes are some Inglot shadows, blush is Inglot as well, and MAC um, Cheeky Bronze Highlighter. So that's it today, guys. I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care. Bye, YouTube. It is Thursday, January the 12th, I think. Yes, the 12th. It's going to be 60 degrees today <laughs> in New York. We're totally screwed for the spring. Anytime we have this weird weather in the wintertime, it means that we're not going to get hot until July. But I'll take it. Anyway. Um, I've got myself into so much trouble yesterday. Oh, I should have stayed my little butt at my desk. I may or may not have picked up that Gucci belt. Um, and another pair of sunglasses. They were on like, first of all, the sunglasses, they were at Saks. First of all, Saks didn't have the belt. I walked to, to Macy's. Macy's kind of had the belt, the color that I wanted, but then I didn't want that real, that color. And I'll tell this when I reveal the belt in my video. It was a nice day yesterday, so I was like, what the hell? I'll walk from 34th Street to Saks, which is 50th Street. Um, so it was a nice walk. They didn't, they thought they had the belt. I waited about 20 minutes for them to go downstairs to look for the belt. And in that 20 minutes, I saw the big 60% off sign in a bin of sunglasses. And I was like, oh, that's probably crap sunglasses. No, they weren't crap sunglasses. They were all sorts of sunglasses from Tom Ford, from Fendi, from uh, Miu Miu. And all of them were like under $200. I saw a pair of four Tom Ford sunglasses, and I, they were gorgeous. Tried them on, some, and then, but in my mind, I was like, you know what, no, I'm going to buy the Gucci belt, so I'm going to be good. Return, so I told the lady, I have to leave them here. Turns out that Saks in New York did not have the Gucci belt, but I walked out of the store with nothing in my hand, and I felt good about it. I did. Until that is, I worked myself into a froth. Now, Saks had the, the belt I wanted. It was the light brown belt, the red and, and green uh, um, gold buckle. Call Macy's back to the guy that I was talking to. He's like, oh, I'll check and I'll call you back in five minutes. Of course, he never called me back. So that pisses me off. So I go back to my job and I'm like, I'm going to find this belt in my size, in the color combination that I want. So of course, I call all around Saks stores. And, and let me tell you, customer service is just, anyway. Ended up finding the belt. Of course, at this point, it's like, this is the principle, and I'm going to get it. Order the belt. It is coming to me. Um, and then, in my late night perusings of the internet, I found those Tom Ford shades on sale at Zulily for $99. <laughs> so, of course, I had to order it. And Tom Ford is still selling it on their site and even on Saks for like the full price, like four fifteen. I had to get them. So I'll either show it to you when I get them or I'll save them for like a spring um, haul, which 
I shouldn't have anything else to buy. But knowing me, anyway, that was my hauntings yesterday. My Sam coat. I love the fur. It's so pretty. I, I do love the fur. It's so luxurious. It itches a little bit, but it, it's, it tickles. I shouldn't say itches, it tickles. Anyway, we won't dwell on that. I don't want to piss anyone off. Um, Sam coat. Uh, yeah, and my uh, coach bag. I am wearing this uh, sweater I just picked up yesterday from H&M for like $25. It's mohair, wool, and it was one of their premier things. It was on sale for 25 bucks. I went back this morning to see if they had a navy blue or gray. Of course, they don't. And it doesn't itch. Mm -hmm. So I'm wearing that with uh, an H&M short, stretchy skirt, and these tights are uh, these Mark by Mark Jacobs um, patch tights, and my Vince boots, um, and my Hermes belt. Although I get dressed in the more in the dark in the morning, I may actually take the sweater out of the, um, the skirt. I gotta see how it looks in the mirror when I go in the bathroom. But you can't really see the. the sweater so pretty you can't really see the, the belt anyway so we'll see I'll make my final decision but these are the boot the tights they have um, all sorts of colors on them so this this lilac color purple they have this camel knee patch and as it goes down there's cream and then like a teal blue on the foot they're really cool I hunted these ones down too I saw them on the runway oh wait and these I saw are them on the runway one year and by the time I called the Marc Jacobs stores, of course, they were all sold out. Because they make, like, they manufacture, like, two. Uh, but I managed to uh, snag these because someone, a customer was going to buy them, but they took too long to come pick them up, so they gave them to me. Anyway. Um, yeah. That's about it. Earrings. I finally switched out. These are these Gorgana, Gorgiana, um, horn studs and my, um, Catbird earring is holding fast. I like this earring. I really do. It's a good, great filler earring. Um, L and M signet ring, and my Veramete Aries uh, ring, and this is the ring from um, Etsy. And this nail polish, I have to say, is from Avon, and it is it has held out, man, for the whole week. No chipping or anything. I might have to look into buying some more Avon nail polishes. I mean, that's a nail polish. That's stuff that chips off in two days. And that Deborah Lippman, those nail polishes just chip off in two days. I don't know if it's me or whatever, but it does not hold, like, you know, cheapy Avon and um, nail polish. And I love it. Even Essie sometimes just chips off. <sighs> anyway, I think that is it for the week. Yes. I haven't put it on any lip thing. I mean, I haven't bothered today. I'm in one of those moods. I'm still wearing my um, Inglot shadows because it was still out on my makeup table and I didn't feel like changing, getting up to change it up. Um, and Inglot shadows are really nice and they're cheap too uh, for for the little each individual uh, um, eyeshadow. So I am, have confessed to you my sins of my shopping, but y'all know when you get the itch, one must scratch it. Anywho. I will be talking to you next week. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Actually, next week, Monday, I'm off. It's Martin Luther King Day. Tuesday, I'm taking off because it's the little one's birthday. She's going to be four. So I'll probably only have two outfit of the days next week. So have a great weekend, guys. I will talk to you later.